Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here with Yakuza 7, Like a Dragon, which I had previously played along, I think at the beginning of the year, just for a little bit, because I was playing through it. And since they announced the, uh, the next game already, I felt like getting back to it. Now, obviously, I can't do any of the story stuff because I'm knee-deep in the story in the JRPG, so I'm not going to be doing any of that, but what I am going to be doing is playing this minigame. <laughs> Which is just solving a bunch of exams, because I figured, why not? If I'm going to fail them, I may as well try and fail them on, on video. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you want to play along, feel free to <laughs> do it with yourself. Alright, let's see. Let's start with an easy one, which should be the Sega Proficiency Tier Exam. Mm, one moment, because this might be a little bit too loud. There we go. That should be better. There we go. Alright, yes. Um, so yeah, they'll just be basically asking me questions. There are ways to get better. Okay, wait, alright, let's see. The Valkyrie Chronicles series is a strategy RPG by Sega, the first title of the series. Which country are the protagonists from? The Kingdom of Gallia, the Federation of Gallia, the Republic of Gallia, the Principality of Gallia. I don't remember. I'm gonna go with Kingdom. Sonic the Hedgehog is an action game released by Sega. How old is Sonic? Shit. Uh, how old is Sonic? He has to be at least 21 years old. I'm gonna say based on when this game came out. Ah, oh, damn it! When did this game come out? It might he might actually be younger. Damn it! Sega has released a variety of hardware over the years. Which of the following is not a device attachment released for the Genesis slash Mega Drive? The Sega Keyboard, the Mega Answer, the Sega Mouse, and the Mega. Mo I'm gonna go with the Mega Answer. Feel the Magic XX. They made Feel the Magic XYXX as an action game released by Sega. What is the name of the sketchy performance group of the protagonist joins in order to impress his love entrance? The Rub Rogers, the Rub Rabbits, the Rub Rise, and the Rub Rubbers. I think it's the Rub Rabbits. Panzer Dragoon 2. Ah, oh, shit, where's Zen when I need him? Dragoon's Wii is a shooter game by Sega. Which is the name of the dragon who partnered with the protagonist Jean Luc Lundy? Laggy, Duran, Duran, Alt. I have no idea. Ah, uh, fuck, I'm gonna go with Laggy. Laggy the dragon sounds about right. Alright, let's see how badly I did on this. I need to get at least three right. I'm gonna assume I got one right. It's a failure. <laughs> it's okay. Which ones, I wonder if I, if I got any right on this one. Ah, damn it! I got these two. Of course I got the one. Sega Keyboard. I guess there would be no reason to release a keyboard from back then. 15. Sonic is 15 years old. He is 33 and weighs about 70. Wait. I guess they were asking how old is legitimate Sonic? I thought that was when... Okay, I got confused on that one. This one I just had no idea. Alright, I got Red Rabbits and this one right at least. Well, that's unfortunate. Well... That's a fortuitous event to show for how well these other tests are going to go. Alright, let's go and try another one. Take an exam. Can I take the same exam? Yeah, let me see. Do I have 50000 I do not. Damn, a lot of these actually cost a bit of money. Let's see, 30000 50000 Hmm. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can just do the free one. Hmm. Go with this. I know random ass trivia, I can easily solve this. Okay. Which of the following games became a big hit in the 1970s Japan and involves techniques like backhand, slip, grip special, Everest, moon landing, and the lighthouse somersault? Jump rope, kendama, bagoma, horizontal bar? I wasn't around in the 1970s. I'm gonna assume that we're getting really into kendama though. What is the name of the layer between the Earth's core and its surface crust? Ah, oh, shit. The Mantle, the Moon Tour, the Mentor, the Montreux. Mantle sounds right. Who was the Norwegian artist who painted the famous The Scream in 1893? Paul Goggin, Pablo Picasso, Edvard Munch, Claude Monet. It's obviously not Picasso, because he wouldn't... I don't think Picasso was alive at that, t at that time. Ah, fuck. I I'm gonna go with Paul. What is the name given to the top dancer of a classic ballet group? The Fantasista, the Principal, the Harlequin, the Prima Donna. 
Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Fantas sister. I'm gonna go with Prima Donna. I wish I had seen Black Swan. That would have answered my question. In the modern age, UTC is a standard time common around the globe. What is the name of the observation in England which acts as the base for the GMT time zone and adjusts UTC? The Greenwich Observation, the European Southern Observation, the Palomon Mountain Observation, and the Gemini Observation. Uh, I'm gonna go with Greenwich. That sounds like an English place. That's where I'm gonna go here. We'll see how well I did. I just need three. Hey! That's a pass! I had no idea how I passed that. Everyone cheers. Absolutely happy. Bliss in his lane, doing fine. Ooh, and I got some little stats up here. Okay, so which of the following games- I, I had to be Kendama. There are many games similar to Kendama around the world, but more people have come to enjoy the game in recent years. Yeah, okay, that sounded like Kendama. Like, what else- what other game are you gonna have something called The Moon Landing, other than in Kendama? It was the name- okay, I got Mantle was a pure- the rest just didn't sound right to me. The Earth's Mantle makes up 80% of the Earth's volume. Uh, it was Edward Munch. Damn it, I was gonna guess Munch next if it wasn't for Paul. Originally called the Scream of Nature, the main subject of the painting is not actually screaming, but covering their ears in response to hearing a scream. What? I had no idea this what the painting was actually referring to. I thought they were just screaming. That completely changes it if it's actually someone reacting to hearing a scream. What is the name given to the top dancer of a classic ballet? The principal, really? Prima Donna is the title given to a top opera singer. Holly Quinn is another name for a clown. The Fantasista is a term used for a soccer player who charms the spectators. <laughs> That's funny. I had no idea that the Fantasista was a real thing. In the modern age, you see, yeah, Greenwich Observatory is located at zero degrees longitude from the, where the sun sits due to south at noon. I don't know how I guess Greenwich, but maybe I just got lucky with that one. I'm going to assume it was all pure luck on my end that got me to win that day. Alright, let's see. Let me see if I can even afford another one. I had a lot of money and then I lost all the money. Oh, hello. Take exam. Okay, let's see. One that costs 30000 would be ideal. Music! Oh, that's easy. I could easily do music. Are you kidding me? Math? No, thank you. I left Dokkan to get away from doing math. I don't want to play a game where I, I have $3,000 to my name, baby. Let's go. Which of the following pieces was composed by Frederick Chopin? Mary Had a Little Lamb, The Divine Comedy, Ave Maria, or Minute Waltz? Ah, oh, shit. Well, I assume The Divine Comedy is the tale of Dante, so they can't be that. Ave Maria doesn't sound like... Mm, actually, Ave Maria might actually be it. I don't think Mary Had a Little Lamb was composed. I think that's a nursery rhyme, so it can't be that. So it has to be between Ave Maria and the Minute Waltz, so I'm going to go with Ave Maria. Which of the following uh, are considered to be some of the best violins in the world? How am I supposed to... Romani Conti, Stradivarius, Vivalandi, Einstein. Einstein's a man, so that's obviously gone. The Romani Conti sounds fancy enough to be the best one. None of these other ones have a little dash for the name or a little umlaut on the top of the E, so I'm going to go with this one. An excerpt of a musical piece will play. Oh, well, hopefully I don't get demonetized for this. I mean, if you hear nothing, no whites. I think this is a uh, shit. This is spring. Fill in the blank. Jo Johann Sebastian was a music musician who composed many pieces during the Baroque period. It's Bach. The reason I know this one is because of the video game Johann Sebastian Joust. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Bach. A percussion instrument produces a sound from when from being struck, shaken, or scrapped. Some examples of the percussion instrument include cymbals, castanetas, or even the piano. Which of the following is also a percussion instrument? A uh, percussion instrument produces a sound from being struck, shaken, or scraped. Okay, a xylophone, you hit a xylophone. Trombone, you play. The ocarina, you play. Has to be a xylophone. The cello, yeah, it's xylophone. I'm not second my guessing myself on that one. Alright, Ichiban. 
Come on. Pass. Pass. Yeah! <laughs> I'm a expert musician. Was I able to get all of them? That's the real question here. Ah, I got my style up. Oh, it was the Minute Waltz. God damn. Which is the following. The Chopin gifted the world with many pieces like Nocturne and the Minute Waltz. He was a notable composer and musician, similar to many even in Japan. All right. It was a guess. Again, it couldn't be Mary Little Leonard to Divine Comedy. Which is the following considers some of the best violins. The Stradivarius. Stradivarius violins are named as such as they were crafted from the Stradivarius household, an Italian family of violin makers. Well-preserved units today have sold for... Two billion yen! What the fuck? No violin is worth two billion yen. Even though I think the conversion rate of two billion yen is like, what? A million? A, ha a million and a half? Because the yen is very weak right now? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Seems a lot for a fucking violin. I'll tell you that much. How the fuck do- how much do violinists get paid, now that I think about it? If someone's out, if the top violinist is able to afford this violin, how much fucking dough are they making <laughs> that they can afford that? I guess if you're someone who's specifically playing the violin, only really rich people are going to be hearing your stuff anyway, I guess. Mm, what is the title? That was Spring, yeah. Spring is the first concerto of the Antonio Vivalende in the Four Seasons, followed by Summer, Autumn, and Winter. I knew that. Easy. Fill in the blank, Johann Sebastian Bach was a musician who composed many pieces during the Baroque period. The Bach household was a family of musicians. Johann Sebastian Bach disp disciplined many gifted musicians during his lifetime. Um, he has xylophone. His xylophone produces the sound when a mallet strikes his wooden keys. Yeah, that's the only one that makes sense to me. Hmm, well now I can't afford anymore, but I can probably do some free ones that they see here. May as well, just for the hell of it. I like this mini game. I like taking exams. I don't like that they p constantly have to pay. I have to pay for them, though. I don't know shit about sports, so I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, let's go back at it, baby. Okay. Sega has sold a number of home gaming consoles over the years. From the following listed, which is their second oldest console? The Saturn, the Genesis, the Mark III, the Dreamcast. Uh, it's the Genesis, because first came the other one, and then it was Genesis. Genesis is their second console. Unless they mean among those four. Soccer Wars is a series of romantic adventure games that take place during a fictional Taishi era, who was the protagonist of the Force 4 game of the series. Bro, no one even got these over here. Fuck. Yeah, Shinjiro Taiga, Kazuma Shingu, Siguri Kamiyama, Shiro Okami. That sounds like a soccer... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah! Jet Set Radio is an action game released by Sega in addition to inline skating. What else does this game characters do around the city? That's obvious. Leaf tracks, graffiti, draw comic books, calligraphy. <laughs> I would play a version of Jet Set Radio that was calligraphy, but it's graffiti. Which of the following Sega releases sees the group of heroes on their quest to take down the Death Adder? This one's easy. This is Golden Axe. Sonic the Hedgehog is a young blue hedgehog who runs and rolls around at the speed of sound. This beloved iconic uh, character made his first appearance on which of these consoles? Uh, Sega CD, Game Gear, Saturn, Genesis. Uh, actually, he showed up in the Mega Drive, but I actually think the Genesis version came first, and then it was the other one. Pass. Are they going to show me which ones I got? Oh, that's a perfect 5 out of 5, baby! Even this one that I completely guessed! <laughs> Genesis was first released as the Mega Drive in Japan in 1988, bringing in the many nostalgic and treasured classics. Shinjiro Taigo was the protagonist of the fifth game of the nephew of Ichiro Ogami, Kazuma Shinju, the father of the recurring character Sakura Shinju, and Sujiro Kamiyama was the protagonist of Project Sakura Wars. Uh, spray paint art is also known as graffiti. Yep, sure is. Golden Axe was originally released in 1989 as the arcade platform, but was since expanded to the home console ports and mobile platforms. Loved by people all around, all of, of all ages around the world, Sonic the Hedgehog was first released for the Sega Genesis. Yeah, so there is an actual version of Sonic the Hedgehog on the Mega Drive that was released after, and it's actually kind of nuts, because it plays completely different from regular Sonic. It actually kind of plays more like Mario at a classic platformer, as opposed to what uh, Sonic is now. I may as well take that sports tier. Let's go. 
Oh no, did I have to pay for that? Shit. I should have looked before I paid. I'm bad at sports. Golf is played on a course in which the golfer's goal is to hit the ball into a hole. And yeah, let's go. In a few strokes as possible, each course has a preset stroke count and that the golfer is expected to meet at each hole. Reaching the hole in the exact number of preset strokes is called a par, while doing one stroke below is called a birdie. What is the term we go three strokes or below? I believe that is called an eagle. Basketball is a team sport where competing teams aim to score points by shooting the ball into an opposing team's hoop. The amount of points earned is determined by where the court was taken. What is the maximum amount of points a player can score from one shot, excluding additional plays from penalty shots? Three. Baseball is a team sport in which competing sport teams switch between offense and defense. The pitcher's on defense goal is to throw the ball in such a way that the batter on the offensive strikes out. That is known as a breaking ball. What is the following is not a type of breaking ball. Change up, a slow ball, a curve ball, a volleyball. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's volley. In bowling, what are the 10 objects that must be knocked down in, bowl in bowling balls in order to score points? That's a pin. That's pretty easy. They had to make this one easy because they realized most people who play video games don't know shit about sports. Marathon is a track and field event that requires running a distance of 40,195 kilometers. Which of the following is an event that became the origin for the distance? Hannibal's Crossing of the Alps, Battle of the Marathons, the Evasion of Mirandus, and the Battle of Therapoil. This one's actually fucking nuts. I don't know if anyone would know this one. I'm going to go with Hannibal Crossing the Alps. A hey, pass. Let's go. I got the first two wrong. It's an albatross. Three strokes below par is called an albatross, while two strokes below par is known as an eagle. The rare occasion that a hole is completed four strokes below par is called a condor. That's insane. Yeah, a shot from, from a half circle surrounding the opposing team's loop is called a three-pointer, and his name clearly states it's worth three points. Change up in slow balls aim to trick the batter into striking out with a deceptive speed. Curveball is the name implies when the ball is thrown at a curved trajectory, and a volleyball is a volleyball. As the name suggests, the pins are a slender object. There was once a time when the game was played using only nine pins. Interesting. The battle of the... <laughs> oh, God, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> was Odysseus the messenger of Felibus ran with all his might to tell the people of Athens of their allies' victory at the Battle of the Marathon in 490 BCE. Gee, which one of these is inspired the marathon? Is it the one that had fucking marathon in the name? Ah, oh, god damn it! I overthought this so hard. I I saw the yeah man. I should have just picked Battle of Marathon. What? I feel so stupid now. I feel unbelievably dumb for not realizing this. Well, good to know in the future, I guess. So the sports one seems pretty easy, so that's cool. Mm, let's see, is there any more that I can do for free? Yeah, this one's free. Sega music. This one has to be free because I, yeah. Mm. Okay, have I actually have done? No, I kind of. I need to be better. Alright. That's it for the video, everyone. I just wanted to do a little test. Sorry I ended up realizing that I needed a lot more money than I had, but that was a lot of fun. Maybe if I ever do the hardest version, which is just doing doing all of them and I'm not allowed to get a single question wrong, I'll record that if you ended up enjoying it. It was actually kind of fun doing trivia stuff, but that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.